So as you can see here, I'm seeing this error localhost refused to connect. So let's see how we can fix this error if you have installed XAMPP. So first open your XAMPP and as you can see my Apache is running but the ports here are 443 and 8080. By default our browser sends request to port number 80 but our XAMPP is listening on port number 8080. So what we can do is first check here which port is there. If it is port 80 then it is fine. If it is some other port you can go to config apache http.conf go down scroll down and change this to 80 save this press ctrl s to save it close it and stop your apache and start it again and now as you can see i'm listening on port number 80 now let's try to run this again and as you can see hello world is being shown now if this does not fix your error what you can do is you need to go to terminal and now we will flush the dns because it can be because of dns issues so type ip config slash flush dns and you will see this message successfully flush dns resolver cache now again try this and see if it is working so even so if it's not working even now what you can do is let me just first close this you can just try this in another browser so it can be because of internal cache issues of a browser so let's try in another browser and if it works in another browser fine you can just clear your browser's cache and restart your computer and it will work but if it is not working in another browser too it can be because of your firewall issues so press windows key and type defender or type firewall right so you will see this message windows defender firewall windows defender firewall with advanced security just click on this windows defender firewall and here there is turn windows defender firewall on or off click on this turn windows defender firewall on or off and you will see these options to turn off defender now just turn it off to test if this is the issue because it is not recommended to turn the defender off so i'll turn this off and now you can check again and if it is working then it is because of windows fire uh, defender and keep it turned off and you can test your app and I'll show you in the next video how you can add localhost as, as exception so that your defender does not block those connections. If your issue is still not fixed, let me know in the comments below.